Hello everyone. Today we'll be discussing fluid replacement in management of diabetic ketoacidosis. So please take note there's a separate video on diabetes mellitus and there's a separate video on diabetic ketoacidosis. So in this video, the only thing we'll be discussing is fluid replacement. So how we begin is the fluid of choice is normal saline, okay? So the aim is to provide maintenance and to replace the deficit. Then this volume is distributed over 48 hours. So one thing you need to take note is rehydration needs to occur over 48 hours. So under our fluids, we need to calculate maintenance fluid and fluid deficit, okay? Then the fluid needs to be administered in 48 hours. So how do we administer in 48 hours? So the total of the maintenance fluid and fluid deficit, we add it, then we divide it into three. So the one third is given in the first eight hours. Then the second one third is administered in 16 hours. Then the last one third is administered in the next 24 hours. So when we add 24 plus 16 plus eight, that will add up to 48 hours. So how do we calculate maintenance fluid? So maintenance fluid is calculated as follows. So for the first 10 kgs of the body weight, you multiply it by 100 mL per kg in 24 hours, okay? Then for the second 10 kg, you multiply by 50 mL per kg in 24 hours. Then the subsequent kgs, you add, you multiply 20 mL by the kg, okay, by the weight. So for example, calculate maintenance rate for a patient who is 27 kg. So for the first 10 kg, we multiply by 100, remember? So we do 10 times 100, we get 1,000 mL. For the second 10 kg, we multiply by 50. So 10 times 50, it's 500 mL. Then for the subsequent 7 kg, remember our patient was 27 kg. So 10 plus 10 plus 7, we multiply by 20. So 7 times 20 is 140 mL. So with 1,000 plus 500 plus 140, our total is 1,640 mL over 24 hours. So calculate maintenance fluid for a child that weighs 12 kg and 29 kg. It would be nice if you attempt this and put your answer in the comment section. Then calculating fluid deficit. So fluid deficit is usually 10% of the body weight. And why do we administer fluid deficit? So this is done to counteract the insensible fluid losses. So we said fluid deficit is usually calculated at 10% of body weight. So we're calculating fluid deficit for a child that weighs 27 kg. So 10% of 27 kg is 2.7 kg, right? Which is almost equivalent to 2.7 liters. Or instead of 2.7 liters, we could say 2,700 mils. So our maintenance fluid will be 2,700 mils, okay? So remember we said that we rehydrate over 48 hours, right? And when we're calculating maintenance fluid here, we mentioned that this fluid is to be given in 24 hours, right? So what are we going to do if it needs to be administered in two days? So we're going to add, add for day one and day two. So it's going to be 1,640 plus 1,640, which adds up to 3,280. However, the fluid deficit, we are not going to add. And then we're not going to multiply it by two, why? because we're assuming that once we have started the treatment fluid, there is no fluid deficit, okay? So that's our fluid deficit is going to remain at 2,700 mils, okay? So 3,280 plus 2,700 equals 5,980 mils in 48 hours. So remember we mentioned that we need to divide it by three. So when we do 5,980 divided by three, we get 1,993 mils. So how do we administer that? So we give 1,993 mils in the first eight hours, okay? Then in the next 16 hours, we give again 1,993 mils. Then the next 1,993 mils need to be administered in the next 24 hours. Okay, so I hope this video is clear. Thank you.